Okay, now like I promised on my uh, promise, like I indicated on my uh, title for this video, which I plan to do here shortly, how to keep your house warm cheaply if you have uh, single pane windows. Okay, I don't know if anybody's ever thought of this before, but you know, there's nothing new under the sun, right? Okay, see this? These are aluminum single pane windows, okay? See that? That's water, right? When it gets cold enough, that'll freeze, okay? Yeah, I need to clean this out, obviously. Look, I'm busy. Everything is on time. I wish I wasn't so busy sometimes. So look at that. And if you feel that? That's like ice cold right there, right? Same for the metal. Okay, so instead of... Uh, Paying a lot of money to get my windows redone. I paid a little bit of money and got these uh, surplus uh, wool blankets, right? You can find surplus wool blankets all over the internet for cheap. Buy them, buy them up because you can get them for pennies on a dollar. These particular ones are uh, Russian, they're 80% wool. My best guess is they came from the old Soviet Union, right? Well, I bought a ton of them, right? One for each upper story window. And I can go around. I'll show you what I did. Uh, let's see. I bought these from the uh, Sportman's Guide. They probably still have quite a bit. But you can go to uh, a bunch of other surplus stores. You can get them for around 15 20 bucks a piece, depending. Now, these are the. You need to get the wool blankets here. They're washable. You gotta watch out. You can get these uh, wool blankets from like a, a PIA, Prison Industry Authority. Which are just shit or shat, right? Because I'm not trying to cuss. I'm sorry if I do. It comes from being a sailor and a soldier and like that. Uh, what do you call? Uh, get yourself some uh, some uh, real uh, wool that you can wash, okay? Because if you don't, if you get these other blankets, they're not going to be good for you because. Uh, You've got, uh, what do you call them? Uh, they will shred. They will shred to pieces in your wash, right? And not be good for anything. So get the kind you can wash if you can. And then uh, as far as fasten them up, just nail them up, right? I got some uh, Gorilla Tape to run along the edges to really seal, it. I really seal it. I haven't done it yet. Of course, if you do that, you can't look out anymore. But it really warms your house if you do this. Uh, it's just like the old blackout curtains. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, back in World War II, uh, I know on the U.S. side, they would block out the, uh, black out the, cur the uh, windows. Probably with dark felt material or something like that. But what it does uh, is it, it makes your house not a target. And like that. And I've noticed from the outside, if you look, I'll probably go outside and we'll look at the house. Um, let's see. That's me in Iraq. It's a little indicator. I've even uh, put one over the door here, right? Um, keeps on coming down. i got to figure a better way. Let me uh, turn on some light and see from the street. <clears throat> Brr. Yeah, I can't see anything out here through this uh, video. So anyway, you can see my uh, porch light and the light coming from uh, the, uh, the door I just let out of <clears throat> that's it the rest of the house is blacked out you can't see even on the side here as you look the whole house is blacked out and uh, probably getting a little glare off of something for that what that was so when it's all Wooled up, I guess you call it. Um, you have a very darkened house. 
which is good in many ways, right? It keeps it uh, snug as a bug in a rug, wool rug, right? So, uh, what do you call? Shut this up here. Turn this out. So, anyway, uh, what you want to do is just fasten any old way. You may not want to have a temporary deal. There's three nails up there. Okay, holding this up. Doesn't take much. And, uh, what do you call? You know, that's about it. Oh, what was I going to say? Um, heating wise, I've got a electric heaters they've got a uh, there's one right here uh, got these off of Amazon DeLonghi safe heat this one is an all I've run two on level four and I got one in the basement one upper store and it keeps everything about 62 degrees uh, and then for lighting you can't really see it from this angle I run LED lights. I got these from Golden Gadgets, right? Uh, .com or whatever. They're a little Oriental uh, importer. Uh, but they do really well. These particular ones, they come in bright white or the uh, soft white. They're 4 watts. Repeat, 4 watts a piece. So I have the most efficient lighting and the most efficient heating electrically. And the bill keeps down. And then, of course, I have the wool on the... Uh, the wind, excuse me, the windows. So, uh, so it keeps everything uh, mighty nice for a, a small price. You know, it's good to save money like that. Um, what else? Oh, when the sun does come in, you know that winter sun it comes at an angle and glares the hell out of everything. Guess what? Darker colors attract light. That's why I see like football players with the uh, the uh, when you look at them, they got the uh, the dark uh, like mascara or, or oil paint or whatever you want to call it right here like the Egyptians they did that too what it does is it attracts light uh, now they have a dip, put it on there for a different reason but it sucks light in and it kept away from their pupils so they could see better but uh, darker colors and it doesn't look so dark now but it really is a dark gray uh, it sucks in heat I'm not kidding you like when the, the sun is coming in at, a, at an angle and it's really glaring the hell out of things. You can feel the wool, and it's actually kind of a, a warm hot because it's sucking in light from outside. Same for when snow, everything's snowed out. That snow is reflecting the sun's light, and it's sucking right into this wool here and heating your house. So it's an indirect heating. Uh, uh, what do you call it? what would the word be? Indirect heating uh, attribute, right? So it sucks. It sucks light and turns it into heat. So it's a, it's a secondary feature having wool over your windows. Uh, another feature would be, uh, you know, security. People can't look in. They can't snipe you and stuff. You never know. You know, I may have made some enemies. You know, my military service may. They still got a grudge. They're on the hill. They're gonna. Uh, watch what I do and try to get me one of these days. So what this does is it takes your silhouette out of the windows and things like that. It's more of a security thing. Um, uh, it's safe for thermal imagers and things like that. They cannot use a thermal imager when there's wool on your windows and detect where you are because it just blocks everything out. So uh, heat, security, uh, cheapness, uh, uh, blackout curtains, uh, you know, uh, what else? I guess you can make a very nice curtain out of all this if you have some sewing skills and, and like that. And uh, you're not you're not like me trying to rink and things. Uh, but you save money. Uh, I'm just giving you tips and things, trying to make this a useful deal. And you get to reuse these blankets, you know, which are awesome. Put them to good use. Uh, and like that. Okay, 10 seconds left. Military Industrial Museum is my channel. Please subscribe. Please support my uh, advertisers. Adios.